All right, guys. So we're actually here in Montego Bay, and we thought, what better way to record our first video than to do it at this amazing villa? So yeah. So our video today is twenty questions tourists ask about Jamaica, and the first question is the first question is is Jamaica safe? So yeah, I would say Jamaica is pretty safe. Do you do have those areas where there's an uprising violence? It's mostly the inner cities. Right. It's mostly in the inner cities. Uh, as far as the tourist area go, I mean, areas like Bochorios, Montego Bay, and Negrilite, so they are pretty safe. Wouldn't yeah. you agree? Yeah, definitely. And if you're planning to come to Jamaica, you probably want to utilize a resort that has 24-hour security. Right. So that would add to the aspect of being safe while in a foreign land. Right. So, I mean, overall, the short answer is yes. I know there are a lot of news reports sometimes about violence in Jamaica and stuff like that. We're not going to dismiss that there isn't. Right. But but we're basically just saying, yes, just come on down, have some fun. Um, if you have some concerns about security, you can always go with a tour guide. You know, definitely don't venture out on your own, especially late at night. You know, because there are some areas that you probably want to avoid as a tourist. So just keep that in mind. Overall, I'd say yes, the island is pretty safe um, for you to come, especially the tourist capitals. You know, just come, all the vibes, have a red stripe and just yeah, relax. relax. So the second question is, when is the best time to come to Jamaica? Well, good question. So Jamaica is sunny for most of the year. A lot of tourists actually come to Jamaica during the winter periods and that's because, you know, over their home country, it's cold. So Jamaica provides a little escape because it's warm and comfortable. So that's good, but I would say the best time to come is actually during the summer. Summertime, right. where you have summer deals. And this is when you really feel a more island vibe to me. This is my my um, yeah. opinion on right. this because we have a lot of concerts or stage shows during the summertime like Reggae Sun Fest, um, during the weekend and the list goes on. Right, that's it, yeah, that's well, right? Yeah. The party. Right, so summer is a great time to come. And remember that the summertime is the peak season, so it's more ideal financial wise. Right. But the choice is up to you, of course. Of course. So the third question is, what is the best place to stay in Jamaica? Oh, that's a very difficult one. I mean, this villa here is amazing. Superb. If you're in Montego Bay, definitely check out the Point of View villa. It's superb. But there's lots of resorts and every little parish has their hidden gems and their resorts, their hotels and stuff like that scattered throughout. Jamaica is a beautiful country. So, I mean, Check them out. I mean, there's a lot. And on our website, JamaicaHotelReview.com, of course, you can also find a lot of the places that are good for you to check out and for you to enjoy. I mean, as it pertains to best place, if you're speaking parish wise, it depends on the activities that you do plan to do here. So, if you're planning a more adventurous type of trip, I recommend Ocho Rios which has a lot of attractions, Misty Mountain, Nunsuba Fall, etc, etc. If you want something of a more entertainment, a more nightlife, I recommend Montego Bay. If you want the sunny, yeah, sunny all, sunny everywhere, but if you want like the beach life, I recommend again Montego Bay or Nick Grill. So that's, that's yeah, so much that's pretty much it. But also as it pertains to place, it depends. Do you want a villa? Do you want something where it's more a small group? Something where it's just you and your special person? Or do you want something big and luxurious? Then you probably look at the more expensive hotels. And villas. And villas, of course. Right. Is it ideal to travel to Jamaica alone? It's pretty safe to travel alone. If you have any concerns, again, you probably want to go with a tour guide or, okay. you know, book tours with your resorts or something like that. You probably don't want to venture out nice. on your own if you're not familiar with a particular area. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. What attractions are close to your cruise ship? So another popular question 
how the persons ask. They come in from your cruise ships and they want to know what to do. Yeah, so I mean, if your cruise ship is docking in Montego Bay, the most popular attraction would be our hip strip. Again, the hip strip provide, provides entertainment. So you know you need to have your Jamaican cuisine because there is an array of restaurants on the hip strip. You have Doctor's Cave Beach, if you want to take a quick dip or whatever. So that's for the Montego Bay persons. So right. the hip strip. And then Ocherius, which is the most popular, I would say it's the most popular, of course. They have a lot of attractions like Dunjuba Falls, Mystic Mountain, Dolphins Cove. There's also Konoko Falls. I'm not going to get too much into yeah. it right here, but there's a lot of attractions there. So that's in Ocherius. If you're in Falmouth, there's Glistening Waters and there's some tour there yeah, as well. Yeah, there is a tour of Falmouth, the Falmouth Square. I mean, there's a little bus that takes you around and gives you the history behind it. So that's really interesting. Another person would actually come to Falmouth, leave Falmouth and go to either Ocherias or Negril to enjoy uh, the attractions there. So that's always something that you can consider doing as well. Is there any advice for first time travelers to Jamaica? Well, so again, backtracking to um, the safety that's taken care of. You know, in terms of what I mentioned, but in terms of advice that I would give, I would say try to explore as much attractions as possible. You know, there's a lot of hidden gems throughout the island that you can experience for yourself and that you will totally enjoy, you know, going to and visiting. Also, you will want to try to experience Jamaican culture. I mean, the food is good, the music is good. Try to get some, you know, that island vibes. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Totally agree. Right. So, the next yeah. question is what are the top five attractions you must see when coming to Jamaica? Dungeon of Falls. Hands down, Dungeon of Falls. Right. It is beautiful, it provides no. A little kiddies play area and there's also a beach if you don't or if you can't climb the falls so it's not just the falls there's other little things there things to, do. to do right there's also mystic mountain and if you are familiar with that show cool running feel the rhythm feel the vibe get ready it's about the time right that is that that whole attraction was inspired by that movie at least i think it was because of that ride so that ride is popular there, you know, you just jump in your little bobsled and you cruise through the mountainside. That's really awesome. We also have a, um, is it a canoe before? Or sky explorer. Sky explorer. Right, there's a sky explorer that takes you really up high above. But you have to go on a sky explorer to go to the, to be on property or on site at Mystic Mountain. Right, to go to where all the fun is, you have to yeah. sky explorer. So. so if you're scared of heights, I do not recommend Mystic Mountain. Well, I mean, can you just imagine going on a sky explorer just to reach Mr. Mountain? Well, true. It was a bit intimidated at first. Right. Well, yeah, that's a good one. There's also Dolphin School. Um, that's popular. You get to interact with the dolphins. There's Blue Hole in St. Anne's. And Blue Hole is where you just grab on the ropes and you dive off right. into the water. And tour guides just take care of it. I have videos on the channel here, so you can always see that attraction as well. Yeah. Konoko Falls. I put Konoko Falls because I ranked it on one of my videos as one of the best attractions in Ocheria simply because there's something here for the family to do. I mean, kids can enjoy the bird aviary. You can actually climb the falls, which is not as challenging as the true falls. You can grab a bite to eat. That's a cool little vibe. So I think that's five, right? That's right. But I just want to add a more yeah. outdoorsy type of attraction would be Yaman Adventures, where you go horseback riding, camel riding, uh, the little jetty tour, we get the history right. of the plantation. plantation. And there's something else I forgot to but there's a lot to do. There is a review on the website about Yaman right. Adventures. Just check out the overall attractions there and you'll see some good suggestions for wherever you are in Jamaica. What should I pack 
Michael if I'm planning to visit. Germany. What should you pack <laughs> apart from your clothes? <laughs> mosquito repellents. Yeah, mosquito repellents. We do have mosquitoes here, unfortunately. Um, apart from that, you probably want your sunscreen. We do have the sun beating down on the island almost every day. I mean, especially if you're in certain parishes, you know, you want to yeah. pack that. I recommend a waterproof case. So right. you can create phones in safe pictures. So some of the videos and stuff that we record is actually with that waterproof case. Yeah. You just pop your smartphone within it and you can take some pictures. You can also bring a professional camera to capture the moments. And then if you're going to those real falls and stuff like that, you will want to carry your water shoes to climb the falls. And again, on the side here is some, um, you know, a little resource here that I put together. So you can check that out and get some stuff there. I just want to go back to the question where we mentioned some attractions in Montego Bay, in, I'm sorry, in Jamaica. I think we're being a little bit too biased in most areas. Right, we have to right. mention like, attractions in the grill such as Rick's Cafe. Like, oh yes, Rick's Cafe, yeah, that's a popular one. Um, to dive for diving purposes and just to see the sunset, to just enjoy it's beautiful. a good time. There's also, what's the Peloton? Yes, it's Floyd's Pelican Bar, and mm -hmm. that is where you just go out into the boat to the actual bar. It's in the middle of the ocean, mm -hmm. and you just all a vibe, all a drink, grab a red stripe, play some diving holes. It's a cool little vibe. The next question is which foods are the must haves in Jamaica? Right, well, definitely you'll want to try the jerk chicken. I mean, Delicious. Let's go to a pan vendor, one of those present with the steel pans, and grab some jerk chicken. You will love it. Right. Jerk have... chicken is very famous here, and I know at many resorts you have a lot of jerk chicken there as options. So that's really, that would be really tasty. Right. You should really try that. And of course, our national dish, Akiyam Salad. 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 As well as Jamaican patties. Delicious. Grab a beef patty. You're going to enjoy that. Grab a cheese patty. And, for sure. and I mean, also, you know, just the overall thing like curry chicken, curry goat, you still want to try that in Jamaica. Probably mm -hmm. get a different taste and stuff like that. Yeah, because we're out of many one people. So we have a variety of cuisines here. Right. It's not just chicken, not just jerk, but. Many curry. options. Many, many options. Exactly. Brown stew, whatever. Um, the last question is, why should you come to Jamaica? An easier question is, why should you not come to Jamaica? I mean, just to escape in paradise, just to feel that island vibe. Right, that alone should let you want to say, yeah, yeah. Like a pop a bag. I mean, come to the island. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. So that's pretty much it for our 10 questions on, what was the 10 questions that we were why should right. or ten questions the tourists ask, ask about Jamaica. Jamaica? If you have specific questions that we did not answer, be sure we to drop them, them the in the ask. comments below, and we'd be happy to <laughs> we'd be happy to answer them from the comments. Also, again, remember to check out the website jamaicahotelreview.com where there is a lot of attractions and hotels. I give my personal view on a lot of them and you can also find the videos and stuff on this channel so definitely hope you like our first video and we hope you will subscribe to our channel so that you can see a lot more of the stuff that we talk about and a lot more of the attractions and hotels that we do so thank you for joining us again this is Shadeo this is Michael and we thank you for tuning in to our video on Jamaica. So we will see you soon.